professor of strategic management. In these videos, we'll try to begin in the concept of strategy. We'll try to go through the program of strategic management. Uh, strategic management as a science, as an art, as a crafting of decision making. Uh, in terms of a formulation, implementation, and evaluation of goals. Uh, so, uh, science because of the contribution of authors and scholars. Art because of, it requires from managers their their intuition, the good sense, the manager should anticipate. So it needs the flair, the, the nose of manager. is an art, manager should be an artist, right? And uh, finally, strategic management is about the crafting, about this uh, process of formulation, implementation, and evaluation of goals. So it requires a set of uh, techniques, of tools, of instruments, relevance for developing and conceiving and designing, drawing up, do the strategies, okay? So let's get started. For the, for to develop it, for to design a program of strategic management, you might need four to five points, four to five uh, interesting and important uh, points. Of course, you, it depends on many factors. It depends on your audience. It depends on uh, the hourly load. So you can develop it as you like, and you can develop it uh, your own. Okay. So um, basically, uh, the strategy man should be around this. But uh, after all, you can of course develop it in eight weeks and uh, twelve weeks, and depend on how many uh, hours by week, etc. So do the. Uh, the, so, so trying to just to, to say that strategic management should be around, should be made around four uh, to five points. So first point, we develop uh, actually the definitions of uh, strategic management. So this is a, a kind of introduction to strategic management, to strategy and strategic management. So what is a strategy? What is the role of strategy? What stands for? What are the strategic decisions, features, the aligning strategy and organization, strategic thinking, how we can develop a strategic thinking. Uh, we can also discuss the context of strategic management, such as um, business models, for example, Rotarme model, uh, Thompson model, uh, also Martin's and uh, Martin and Thompson and Rotarme's model and David's model. So basically, those industry are very important, right? And the business model around the strategic positioning, strategic choices, and strategic uh, strategic uh, interaction, right? And uh, well, uh, so basically, this this thing are very important. What is the difference between strategic management and strategic planning? So, in the first point, we should develop and discuss and go thoroughly in these in, uh, in these aspects of a strategy to dispel the doubts about the concept and it makes sense because. Uh, you, you, you can't uh, de, uh, you can develop a strategy without understanding first what is the strategy what stands for what is the role and all these things that I just mentioned right now right and the second point is uh, basically uh, around the concept of the environment environment we mean external and internal internal environment because Many people they understand that uh, environment. When we say environment, the first thing that springs to their mind is the uh, external environment, the economic, uh, political, um, uh, or social, uh, etc. But it's actually uh, not only the matter of external environments, also internal environments, because. To face off the competitors, you might need uh, to understand also your capabilities and your resources, right? So value value chain is important. And external analysis also, we, we should shed light on the industry because it's a macro environment, meso environment, immediate environment also called, industry environment also called, and the internal environment finally. Right, so in this um, point, we discuss all these things and we have many models that we can develop. Uh, and also SWOT is uh, very crucial and relevant for integrating the, 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 the internal and external. It can play the role of the funnel uh, as, a, as a funnel, right? And uh, the third point, in the third point, is actually about the levels of a strategy. And by levels, we mean the competitive or business level, corporate level, and functional level. Basically, the two first are very relevant because functional level we can develop this in the fourth point for strategic interaction, or in the first, in the fifth point, 
uh, of strategic interaction if we uh, if we keep the fourth point for discussion of international and uh, and corporate and, and diversification. Okay, so uh, keep uh, in the third point. So we said that is about the levels of uh, strategies and basically these two levels: competitive business, competitive or business, and corporate level right so we do, will discuss the generic strategies of porter also the differentiation the focus and the cost leadership and some other uh, strategies uh, of innovation in a disruptive technological uh, technological uh, world in which we are living uh, uh, in nowadays uh, right so this aspect and uh, the f and corporate level we're going to discuss uh, all about the integration, uh, vertical, horizontal integration, uh, and, uh, and also the multi-business strategies, and the strategic portfolio frameworks. Right, so basically this. And the fourth point now, we can focus on uh, the uh, definition of uh, internationalization, how to, if we want to go internationally. And we can discuss also the concept of alliances and acquisitions, for example, mergers and all these 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 uh, these strategies, right? And the fifth point, the strategy into action, in which we can develop the we can discuss and delve and dig in on the concept of strategy evaluation. Balanced scorecard, for example, can be used for this evaluation, for this kind of evaluation. Uh, also, we can discuss the seven S of uh, McKinsey uh, systems, uh, shared values, uh, structures, and all these things. And also, we can discuss the change management and structures, and we can discuss the uh, culture, the strategic drift or the culture shift, and also the alignment of uh, culture and strategy, culture models. Uh, right. So um, this is uh, this is the, the program. This is the, the five points, four to five points, and to merge some to five points. And it's, and it's five.